Yeah, what's up, Morgan? Not much, man. Not much. Well, everything. Everything, everything, all at once. Now, is this your first time playing Lollapalooza? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. yes, first time. Playing. Are you excited? Yeah, really excited. I'm really excited to be here. I used to live in Chicago, so. Whereabouts? In a high park, which is just down the road, or well, down Lakeshore Drive. Um, yeah, my sister's here and stuff. And I just saw my sort of stepmom, which is really nice. It's like a family reunion. Yes, it is. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm really pumped about being here. So yeah, it's good. Have you guys been playing other festivals in the U.S.? Uh, not this time around. We played like we played Coachella when we were here last time. And I think we're going to be doing street scene, San Diego street scene. What do you think about the crowd at Coachella? Yeah, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. If this crowd's like anything like that, it's going to go off. It's going to be amazing. I think it is going to go off. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how long have you guys been on the road? Um, sort of perpetually, really, man. Like after Christmas, we like uh, well, I've just basically been on, like non-stop. I was really surprised because we did this tour of a magazine called The Enemy at the beginning of the year, and it was like us, you know, the Ting Tings, and a couple of other bands. And, and it's kind of like it seems like everyone's come so far since then, and it's only a few months ago, you know. So like, it, it really feels like a long time. But it, I don't know. We've only been like really on it for like about six months, I think. Like with that, with like two days. Only six months. Only six months. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How long can you go without washing your clothes? Uh, well, I'm sort of doubling back on myself now. Underwear wise. <laughs> I don't know why I told everyone in the room that. So it's like you kind of like you wear them for a week. You wear them all. I've, this for a week. No, no, no. I've got, Busted. You said it. I do. I've got like. <laughs> it's dirty. Went to like the cheapest store and bought like I don't know like a hundred pairs of boxer shorts for like ten pounds, like twenty dollars. Right. But you sort of wear them out because you sweat so much, you know, and it's kind of like, and then, you know, you, you don't want to go to the laun laundry room in the hotel, so you kind of, you double back and you wear the first pair and then the second pair. And I'm going to do the laundry tomorrow. And then you just start offending the band members with your yes, smell. Yes, yes. Well, I'm the least stinky in the band, actually. You look like you're the least stinky in the band. <laughs> That's because, like, I'm looking so fresh-faced and sort of Corey Haim-esque. But <laughs> uh, I think that's because uh, I've stopped it's boozing. Oh man, listen, we're big fans of Corey Haim. Like, I know, oh, I'm serious. This is not a kind of joke. Thing. Do you watch? Do you watch the show, The Corys? Do I watch it? I've got it on DVD, man, and it's not even out on DVD. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, seriously, like, uh, yes, I'm not, serious tip. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm looking good. I feel great. <laughs> it's because, like, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm trying to cut down on the alcohol. Yeah. Last time I was drinking a little bit too much, I ended up sleeping in the streets in LA on my own. And like, uh, I lost my passport, I couldn't get home. It sounds like touring in the band is uh, quite an adventure. It is, I mean, you know, it is an adventure. I mean, it's got a little bit kind of stayed and boring for me at the moment because I'm so sober, you know? Things that- well, This is the weekend to mix it up. Oh, well, I'm, uh, yeah, it could be, it could be, it could be. I'm the little devil on the shoulder. Huh? Yeah, I mean, I just, I feel this itch and it's kind of like, it's building up and building up. I might just explode like sort of Nick Nolte style, you know, and take steal, <laughs> steal a car and like, it'll be, you know, <laughs> end up on like the lake shore. Like. What's the craziest thing that's happened on this last tour? Um, I don't know, man. I think it's been pretty tame. Besides passing out in the streets of Los Angeles. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I had like some really nice times in LA. I went to this, they have like a, um, they do this thing in the cemetery called Hollywood Forever, where they show films. So I sort of went down there, watched the film called The Eyes of Laura Mars. It's like this sort of 80s kitsch movie with uh, uh, Tommy Lee Jones in it with like a monobrow, oh, which he's since plucked, uh, you know? Monobrow. Yeah, so, um, so yeah, I did that and I got my picture taken next to Joey Ramone's uh, tombstone, which is cool. I don't know what else, that's been sort of extreme. Oh, we went to this part after show party, which is like um, free vodka. So, I, you know, I indulged there. And, the, and below the below the, the bar were these two massive man-eating pythons. Yeah, wow. like coiled together. It, yeah, it's really weird. So that's pretty. Only in LA. Only in LA. Apparently that was we were in South Central for that party, and I really wanted to just walk home on my own. I just wanted to just. You know, Bad idea. Unless you're packing a vest or heat. Well, you know, I had my colours ready. I had them in a case. <laughs> I was like, I just need to put them on. I just need to get my colours on, and I'm sweet. I've got the walk. I've seen Boys in the Hood. I listen to NW. You carry it on you. Hell, you know? You just spit lyrics out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right on. So what offends you? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Traveling offends me, man. Like, I, if we could just do away with the transit part of traveling, then it would be great. If I could just say, it's like, right, I'm in Chicago. I'm in San Francisco. I'm in London. A little, a little zap machine. Yeah, but it's like, we just, it's just like the flying, man, and all the delays. It's just, oh, it's such a hassle. It's just useless. There's no point in it. 
Teleportation is the way forward, I think. Yeah. <laughs> what offends you about London? Um, I think uh, nothing really offends you about London. It's just a really hard city, you know? It really eats people's creativity and their souls. So be careful. Uh, no, I'm serious. If you're like, oh, I, if you're like, oh, I really want to get to London and experience it, and you know, I want to make my own clothes, I want to be a fashion designer. Nine times out of ten, people just sort of after two weeks, they're like, I want to go home, man. Maybe I'll get a job in Borders or something. What music offends you? Um, oh, what offends me musically? Oh man, oh, what, was, what was I listening to the other day that I just like can't hear that? The Jonas Brothers. The who? Oh, the Jonas Brothers. Oh, oh. Oh, I was right. I think I was right. But then it's like really terrible music I quite like. You know that sort of like um, Mexican pop stuff? Have you ever heard that stuff? <laughs> no. Has anyone ever heard that Mexican pop type music? No? Oh, reggaeton, reggaeton. No, not reggaeton. It's like it's not anywhere near as cool as that. Oh, I don't know. The drums, they always have rolls that go like. Like, oh, I can't explain it. If you're going like a cat. It's good enough. It is good enough. I, I enjoyed that. that. Who are you excited to see this weekend? Um, I'd like to see Radiohead, of course. Uh, but I, I, I'm not sure if we're going to get a chance to see them. And it's like, I'd like to see Nine Inch Nails as well. Um, you guys are going on the road with them, right? Yeah, that's, that's like a dream come true. That's insane. Like a creepy dream. No, I mean, like, no, it's, that's going to be amazing. Because I, I, I had... Um, the Downward Spiral was like one of my favourite albums ever, you know, so yeah, it's going to be difficult not to freak out when I see Trent Reznor, you know. I'd just like to say hello to uh, also the, the school teacher who got me expelled when I was coming to school here and said I wouldn't amount to anything. <laughs>